Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day one of my spring cleaning juice feast and I'm feeling pretty good to be honest. It's day one, no crazy detox symptoms, no healing crisis yet. Um, though near the end of the day, I was experiencing a bit of a headache, but um, I just came back from the Tool concert. <sighs> Phenomenal show. It was, guys, it was amazing. Um, we had a really great time. So with that said, I did some prepping last night because I knew that today was, was going to be really crazy and really busy. Um, I got up a little bit earlier than I typically do this morning just to make sure I was allotting enough time um, to make my juices in the morning because I wanted to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner juices um, simply because I was going to work and right after work, coming home, taking care of our pets, leaving to pick up my partner at work, and then going to the show. So knowing all of that was coming, I wanted to plan ahead as much as possible. So last night, I washed and chopped all of my produce that I would need for all of those juices today. And um, I revisited some juices that I've made in the past with a uh, previous juice fast Back in the day, I called it a juice fast. Um, it, tomorrow, we'll talk about why I want to call it a juice feast. Um, so with that said, I uh, revisited this juice by uh, Carla Duglin from Raw Raw Life back in the day. It is her sweet potato dream. Sweet potato dream. Oh my gosh, guys. One of my favorite juices. And I wanted to start this juice feast with something a bit more hearty uh, because I knew that my body and really my mind more than anything would be missing solid food. Um, today wasn't bad at all. All, mainly because I was really pumped about seeing Tool tonight. So, um, and work was really busy, which helped keep my mind focused off of food. Uh, though it was a little tempting uh, smelling everyone's lunch today in the office, but fortunately, I was able to leave the building for my lunch break and I was able to escape the smells. So, that definitely helped. Um, overall, today went really well. Um, I was happy with the juices. The sweet potato dream started the morning. And uh, by the way, as I go throughout this um, cleanse, I will share the recipes of my juices down below just in case you care to try them yourselves. Um, but feel free to try these, but have fun with it. Uh, juicing is a lot of fun. You can get really creative with the juice combos. So just try things out. If you don't like something, uh, just try something else. Tweak it a little bit and uh, get creative. Have fun with it. Uh, after that, I tried a different recipe, this lemon zing zang zap. Like I said, I don't, I don't name these things, but I did name, well, actually we named grapple juice. <laughs> this is my, one of my favorites, actually our favorite juice. Um, you juice some apples with a bunch of grapes and the way that the juices separate, it looks like Trix yogurt. <laughs> it's so amazing. So sometime whenever I have some better lighting with one of our amazing grapple juices, I will get some great footage to share with you guys. Um, so with that said, not a whole lot to, uh, you know, really talk about today, but, um, last night I did also get some biometrics. I want to share with you guys as I progress throughout this cleanse, how my body's biometrics changes, um, how they change. So, uh, for instance, last night I measured, um, and recorded my left and right blood pressures, we will also be talking about why we take blood pressures on both sides of the body. Um, but I took my blood pressure. I did take my starting weight this morning. Um, and I also got my oxygen, my blood oxygen level. Um, so just a couple different things that we can uh, measure if we want to. But I want to try and use some of these tools to help explain to you guys how uh, this whole detox cycle works. Because the body literally gives us signs on what it's doing, what it wants, what it's not happy about. 
And once you start to learn how to read these signs, you develop this really cool relationship with your body and uh, healing really can take place at that point. So with that said, uh, let me edit this video and get this up for you guys tomorrow. And um, I will be back in touch with you tomorrow with uh, another update on day two. Have a great night, friends. I hope you uh, stay juicy yourselves. And if you are looking for assistance with your health journey, please feel free to send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That's H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.